Do you remember me? So sorry I've been MIA, on YouTube at least. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I've been active, but uh, YouTube not so much. So hi, number one. If you're new here, my name is Gianna Fiorenz, and welcome to my channel. So let's see, why have I been MIA? Uh, my mental health has been a little off, so I felt like the joy that this used to give me wasn't really happening anymore. So I wanted to wait until that subsided a little bit for me to start filming again. I didn't want any kind of negativity or anything like that to, to come across my videos because I knew if I filmed, um, I just wouldn't like it. Or even if I wasn't talking, I just know I wouldn't like it. So not to say that my anxiety isn't, isn't that great right now, but I know that this is a really good outlet for right now and it's a way that I can communicate with you guys and it's a way that I could just kind of connect with everyone again and just get back to my, you know, my ways. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been very active on there. I just wasn't in the greatest space for the last couple months, I guess. Yeah, I was very anxiety ridden. Not that I'm not right now, but it was just, I didn't want that to come across my videos. So I wanted to wait until it kind of subsided a little bit or where I felt comfortable in front of the camera again. My anxiety is a little high right now, but I think it's just because of the situation going on. So uh, first and foremost, I want to make sure that you guys are all okay. I hope that you guys are all okay. Um, prayers going out to anyone that is having a very hard time right now because everyone is for the most part. And I'm just, you know, my prayers and thoughts are with you. This is just a crazy time in our lives right now and it's time to really put everything in perspective and realize how blessed you are to have the things that you have and I'm gonna try to get back on schedule a little bit with filming YouTube videos. I really want to, I want to get back to my old days and I think now is a great time to do that so yeah. So hopefully that explains everything. I hope that you guys understand where I'm coming from. If you guys do deal with anxiety and stuff like that, I think that you would completely understand that. So yeah, so now let's just move on to makeup. So as you guys know, I usually just pick up a palette and go from there for videos. So I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Rose Pastel Obsession Palette. How cute. Let's look inside. Super pretty colors. I just feel like this palette is really cute um, to start with and it's really light and airy and that's what we need right now. We need light and airy. So I already moisturized my skin and I used the Tasha Dewey Skin Cream. This is my favorite or one of my favorites right now, but I am empty. I have to get another one. But I put that to prep my skin. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit. We're going to start with brows and for brows I'm going to be using the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. And I'm just going to fill my brows in. Nothing crazy. I scratched my face. I don't know how I did that, but I did. Good, fun times. Um, I hope everyone's been staying safe and staying inside. So I'm just going to fill this in lightly. Nothing crazy. You guys always know I start with my brows. I'll tell you one thing. This is a really great time to grow out your brows. I've actually been doing that myself because I feel like I over tweeze sometimes. So this has definitely been a time where I really grow my brows out. I'm just gonna do the other brow. I always start like at different points of the brow. I don't know, I'm always all over the place with that, so just go with what feels good. But it's been, been definitely a good time for me to grow my brows out because I felt like I was getting a little sparse in certain areas. Definitely. Now I'm going to use this little tiny clear brow gel by Anastasia and I'm just going to put that through the brows and just kind of set them. You guys see I have no nails. So weird. I feel like it's a little bit of a good feeling because I get to do my uh, makeup a little easier and everything else. So I just feel like it's a little bit easier. If that makes sense, I'm sweating a little bit. It's a little hot in here. 
So next, I'm grabbing the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I'm using the NC25, and the brush I've been using lately is a ColourPop E11. I've been really, really loving this. You can see how flat it is. It's perfect for doing this. So I'm just going to kind of clean up, sharpen this up a little bit. I'm gonna be like fixing the camera here and there just because I'm trying to like figure out what I like best because I haven't done this since Christmas, which is crazy to think about. But it feels kind of good to be back here and creating again on YouTube. I've been, you know, continuously creating on you on Instagram, but it feels good to be back on here. I just like to blended out my fingers. I feel like it actually, actually, I feel like that actually kind of helps blend a little bit better. For primer, I've been using Shape Tape for primer in medium to prime my eyes. I've been using this lately just because my eyes have been sort of dry and freaking out a little bit for some reason. So I'm just uh, keeping it simple with some Shape Tape for primer. All right, so I'm going to start the eyes like really start them. I'm gonna use the E2 by ColourPop. This is a nice blending brush. And I'm gonna use this shade right here, this light pink. It's super light. I was gonna do something dramatic today, but I don't think that I'm gonna get anything dramatic with this palette. I think I'm gonna get something really soft and pretty, which is always good. So I'm just blending back and forth, blending back and forth. You guys know the dealio. Alright. Now I'm gonna go in with this purpley color right here. So I'm using a Samey 2.4 brush. This little brush right here. And we're just going to Put that on the end and just kind of give it a little bit more color. Bring it into the crease as well. Super pretty color. I love that she came out with these. These are like really fun. I feel like there aren't a lot of pastel palettes. So this was a good hit with her. She was a little, a little smarty with this one. Just gonna build up on that color a little bit. Look, it's definitely a little bit more lilac-y, but I catch the drift. But I like the colors that are actually with the palette, so. Now I'm gonna go in with this guy, and I'm gonna use my finger. It's pretty, it's interesting. It's interesting these colors that come out. It's really pretty. And using my fingers, like I've never, I haven't done that in so long. So doing that now is actually like a nice treat. All right, so I'm actually gonna make the outer corners a little bit darker. I'm gonna use this taupey color right here. And we're gonna make this just a little bit darker. I just need a little bit more depth on this outer area. Now I'm gonna use this shade right here. This is like a pretty rose lilac-y shade. I'm just gonna go over a little bit of that other shadow and focus it mostly on the inner corner. Just gonna bring it up a little bit. I keep crossing my legs and crossing your legs and filming is like the worst thing to do because your back gets so effed. For mascara, I'm going to be using Fenty Beauty Mascara. I've been loving this mascara lately. It's very new to me. So you can see that it has like a volumized side and then a defining side, which is very, very interesting. I kind of just go with the flow. Like I'll do a little defining, then I'll do a little volume, then I'll do a little defining, <laughs> then I'll do a little volume. I think it's very conditioning to the eyes, or lashes rather. And I've been using Grande Lash to kind of grow my lashes out a little bit. For lashes, I think I'm going to use Gigi Bell Lashes and Sugar. Do you guys like my little 
thing. I would think I'm gonna sell something like this. I received this in like a PR package like a long time ago. And I think I'm gonna sell something like this um, maybe when things get back to normal a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna use Sugar by Jujiba Lashes. We're having a sale of 30, ow, mother, God. I keep doing that. We're having a sale uh, for 30% off right now. Use code 30 in caps and you will get 30% off. I'm gonna use TARDIS Pro, Tart, TARDIS Pro Adhesive for the lashes. So I'm just going to hold it there and then just kind of slather, slather, lather some on. Slather? What the hell kind of word is that? And just gonna pop these guys on. All right, so I popped that guy on. Super pretty. I'm gonna do the other one. Sorry, I forgot my family one. This camera can't really handle too much um, filming at once, so it has to like kind of pause. Doing that, and then I'm just gonna pop this guy on. I just like to kind of tweeze them together with my natural lashes just to uh, kind of make them a little together. You know what I mean? I'm gonna use Dr. Brandt's Pores No More Primer. I'll put a little bit on my hand here. And then just kind of put it all over the face. I love this primer so much. I used to be obsessed with it. I used to use it all the time and I got a new bottle, so. And I'm also just trying to do that. I'm trying to like find products that I used to really love and you know, let's really fall in love again. I'm gonna use Giorgio Armani's Luminous Silk Foundation for foundation. I'm gonna get a nice little brush over here. I'm gonna use uh, Sigma's Flat Angle Kabuki, the F88. I'm just gonna put this everywhere. Can't believe this is actually my shade right now. I used to mix this. But now that I'm so pale, I'm staying inside. Even though I do take walks every day, I try to like, you know, break up the day a little bit with some walks. Today I walked, um, today I walked 3.6 miles, which isn't bad. I feel like I keep walking further and further away um, from my house. If you catch my drift. For concealer, I'm gonna use the KKW Beauty in 8. There you go. And I'm just going to put it underneath my eyes. And I'm also gonna use a little bit of a lighter concealer. I'm gonna use Vanilla by Milk. This is their Flex Concealer. I love this. And I'm just gonna put it in the corners. And down the nose. I'm using the complexion sponge by ColourPop, I've been loving this. Look how big it gets. And it just sits in your hand perfectly. And I just love how it just blends out. They have like a total, I think of five, if I'm not wrong. I have them sitting right there. I can't look at them and count them. <laughs> but I really do love their line of that. I thought that was like a genius idea and it just blends out my concealer so nice and it's just like it's comfortable it's like such a soft little blender all right for contour i'm gonna use huda beauty's tantor in medium i love this i've been using it um like crazy ever since i got it and i'm using this moda brush it's like this tiny little synthetic guy just to contour everything out. I'm not using too much product because you really don't need too much. And a little bit under my chin, my jawline. This looks gorgeous, gorgeous. And I like to blend it out with my foundation brush just because there's a little bit, little bit, little bit of foundation on there that will, you know, really blend it out. So I just like to blend it back into the hairline. Just 
Oh, warms up my face so much. Need it. So it gives me a really nice bronze color to my face without being too orange, which is nice. Uh, obviously good one this out. <laughs> This really like, I feel like helps my jawline so much. Like ridiculously. And just bring it down. You don't want to look like you're two different colors. All right, for the nose, I just am gonna pounce this off my nose. Line up with my fingers a little bit. Wish I knew where this freaking scratch came from. What the hell am I doing in my sleep? So weird. Maybe I just scratch myself in my nail in my sleep. I feel like a child in my sleep. Um, okay, moving on. I'm gonna use my Kylie Cosmetics powder, the setting powder in yellow. I've been using this bad boy for a long time and I love it. I'm just going to set a little bit underneath the eyes. The sides of my nose. My nose is really red looking. Maybe I put a little too much. It's okay though, I need more color than anything else. Okay, slight little bake there. And I'm just gonna try to be a little organized. Every time I film, my counter is like Arm Armageddon. I guess that's a good, is that? It just looks like a disaster every time I film. So I try to be a little neat every time, but you know. I'm using uh, Kylie Cosmetics Almond Bronzer. I'm not gonna show you guys what it looks like because it's kind of broken and I don't want it to fall on my counter. I'm using a Moda Fluffy Brush just to set the contour a little bit. Not a lot, because I really feel like I don't need because I feel a little, feel very bronzed, okay. For a blush, I'm gonna use Doll Face by Tarte. Super pretty pinky blush. I really, really like this shade. I'm gonna use a F10 from Sigma. Ooh, yes. Yes, this is what, this is what I wanted. Very like doll, like that's exactly what I wanted. Now we're gonna zoom back in for the under eyes. I'm gonna use this old Colso Sense brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm just gonna put that underneath the lash line just to kind of connect everything and just wait till you see what I'm putting in the inner corner. I think you guys could probably guess which color out of this palette I'm putting in the inner corner just because, uh, I don't know. Maybe you guys can guess. I feel like you guys know already. But who knows? I guess we'll see in the comments if you guys knew exactly what color I'm putting in the inner corner or not. I'm gonna do the inner corner now. Might as well. I'm using a, I'll use the same brush. I'm gonna use the same brush. I kind of want to use my finger, but I'm not. Okay, I'm not showing you guys. Oh my God. How sick is that? Sick. Okay, obviously I used this bright green ish yellowy color oh my god it's so pretty <gasps> mascara time I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty again I try to do this on camera I'm gonna do it off camera because I try to do it on camera and I look like a psychopath all right so now I'm gonna wipe away any excess powder I'm using a Sigma F37 to do that Wipe away any excess powder that I do not need. I do not need. A new thing that I do is actually spray my face before I do any kind of highlight. So I'm gonna be setting with Ready Set Radiant by Tarte. I've been really, really liking this lately. Mm. I put a little too much, of course. But it's so good. I'm gonna use Kylie Cosmetics Coco K Lip Liner. I used this not too long ago and I actually really liked the way it came out. I 
I like to color it in too. This is um, Kylie's Blow Me Away. It's like a yellow gold. So I like that pink tone. I really don't want to change it. I think this is perfect. All right, now moving on to highlights. Too Faced Fancy Pink Diamond. And I'm gonna use a Morphe M501. I'm just gonna, you know. Put that baby on. It's like a pinky white-ish color. I like it for this look. I just like to press everything in. And yeah, that's the look, guys. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yeah, uh, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to thumbs it up and to subscribe, of course, if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, and let me know down below what you guys want to see next. I love always hearing what you guys have to say. Let me know your thoughts below. And just general, in general, just let me know how you're doing. I hope that you guys are all doing, you know, as best as you can at this time. So I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.